people behind the puppets. I'm talking to Matt Hutchinson. Matt worked with us creating a huge giraffe puppet for Zarafa Giraffa. Let's meet him. Hello Matt, Hi. I'm Angel. Hi Angel, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So tell me, how did you first get into designing and making puppets? Um, I got into designing and making because I, I actually started um, as a puppeteer and as a maker. And then a sort of a couple of years into doing that, I suddenly then started being asked to come into rehearsal rooms to be that kind of person that would be working with the director and the designer and working out what the puppetry would be. Mm. And so it kind of took all the skills that I'd been doing for the first little bit of my career and then sort of mixed them all back up and then um, put them back out. So yes, that's how I got back into doing it, which is I quite see. exciting. So you kind of do uh, making and performing? Yes, I do a bit, a bit of everything, I yeah. think. <laughs> so what is it you really enjoy about making puppets? What do I like about making puppets? Mm. I really like um, things that move really well. I think puppets have to be one of those things that if it's really well made, the movement from it just is inherently built in. Mm -hmm. It's like having a really good musical instrument or a really good, um, you know, like a DIY working tool. All of these things do different things really, really well. And so it's about um, being really considerate, I think, in terms of how you make stuff. Um, and so that you're giving performers and audiences um, something that just works. I think that's what's really brilliant about them. Well, yeah, it's lots to think about when making. Um, can you talk about the giraffe puppet you made? Yes, so for Zarafa Giraffa, um, which uh, was adapted by, um, it was based on a book by Diane Hoffmeyer, and then Sabrina Mathuse uh, was our writer for it, and she adapted it. And we had lots of conversations in the creative team when we were first approaching it about, well, how big do we go with a giraffe? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, oh, they're quite big, aren't they? They they're are really legs. big. They're really big. Mm. Um, and really kind of complicated in terms of like their anatomy and things like that. And so we, in the R&D, I sort of said, I want to see if we can fit a life-size giraffe on the Little Angel stage, oh. <laughs> which um, is quite a sort of, you know, a dramatic challenge, but I wanted to see how big we could go because we were dealing with human-sized characters at points, so it made sense to have a, a life-size giraffe. Mm -hmm. And so that whole show, in talking about like the design aesthetic for it, Ingrid, the designer, was really keen on using collage and um, lots of paper-based um, sort of looking materials. Mm -hmm. And so I was interested in how I could take collage and apply it to puppetry, but also sort of work with 2D things and make them into 3D. And so that whole design sort of came from, have you ever done origami? Um, I don't think so. No, no, it's lots of sort of paper folding oh, and, yes, yes, um, yes. The other things I looked at were things like Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. You know, the ones that you get that are um, foil and they sort mm -hmm. of all like link up and honeycomb together. And sort of you get ones that sort of pull out and um, yes. they fold very, very flat and then yeah, you can pull I them out. Know. Yeah. Um, so I worked with, I just experimented and had a go with some of these things and we found that they worked because we realized we could pull a whole giraffe neck um, out of a box and it looked like she was coming through the floor. Oh, um, or we could create what looked like giraffe's legs by honeycombing loads of this. It's called Tyvek. It's sort of like, um, uh, if you, uh, have you ever come across those envelopes that don't rip? Yes, yes. Yeah, those. So that's Tyvek. Um, and yeah, I worked with that because it looks like paper. Um, and so yeah, that's the way we sort of solved the giraffe on oh Zarafa and it was thinking about a giraffe is still too big for the little angel stage mm -hmm. but we could make it in bits and some of the bits could come together or you could have one bit in turn and so you could sort of bi build your own giraffe puppet I think oh. was the way we looked at it. You mean so sometimes you might have like just the head? Or... Yeah just the head or um, we did her as a baby as well so we oh. were able to have a baby giraffe stood next to 
um, a human actor. And so that was um, a head and a neck and it sort of went down into like sort of um, the chest or the breastplate and her front two legs. Mm. So she was able to walk around and kick oh. and stomp. Lovely. Um, yes. Oh, wow. So you've talked about kind of paper puppets, giraffe puppets that come together. What's your favourite type of puppet, Matt, and oh. why? I don't think I can answer that question. Oh. You know why, Angel? And it's because I... The reason I really like puppetry is because all different puppets do lots of different types of things. Mm. And actually the thing I really love about puppetry is how it can help tell really brilliant stories. And so therefore, I like all sorts of puppets. You love them all. I love them all because who, <laughs> how can you pick just one? And in sort of the lots of different ways that I work, Sometimes I'm not even using puppets. Sometimes I'm working with, I'm working on something at the minute for the little angel mm -hmm. where we are just looking at, well, what do we do if we just use a circle? Oh, can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, so it's me working with Chloe Stevens of Page One mm -hmm. um, and we've collaborated together for years and we just get on really, really well. And um, the project is called I Spy oh. and um, Sam at the Little Angel approached us and said um, she'd love for us to make something for um, the YouTube channel as a digital, a digital short. And so Chloe and I sat and said, well, what, what can we do with this that feels different and feels like it's just made for digital for a screen? Mm -hmm. Because we've all been, I don't know about you, how much, have you, how much time have you spent in your house oh, looking wow. at Lots, really. Lots, yeah, because yeah, of the lockdown. Exactly. Yeah. So we've all been inside and we've all been looking at screens. And so we wanted to take a screen and change how we would look at it. So we're actually looking at um, looking through a tube oh. for a camera. Oh, I see. Um, and what that gives us. So it's the idea of looking and seeking and finding. Um, and so sometimes you can see something at the end of the tube. And then sometimes we're looking at what the tube does if we turn it the other way around so mm. it's sometimes we are literally just looking at a circle oh wow that's fascinating um matt yes have you brought a puppet with you today that our viewers can see i have and i wanted to challenge myself and make something that no one had to cut or glue anything Ooh. um and i also wanted to make something that felt like anyone could do and that was something that everyone had lying around their home okay um and how I've been washing my hands a lot. I'm guessing you've been washing your hands oh, a lot as well. all the time, yeah. Yeah, exactly, because of um, lockdown and all that kind of thing. So I decided I was going to make something out of a tea towel. Ooh, <laughs> let's see it. Here we go. So I made this tiny weeny little rabbit, oh. which um, it goes together with five elastic bands and it's really, really quick to do. Um, can it move? It can move indeed. And what's so lovely about this is it's got sort of very nice inherent sort of natural bouncy movement to it that it just oh. <laughs> that's so sweet oh hello <laughs> i love the way she's so bendy if you want to make a rabbit puppet just like Matt, you can download the instructions from our website. <laughs> Matt, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's been nice to come out of the house. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. <laughs>